Um, another hot topic, obviously, as the playoffs have ended, is the trade Julius Hive is back. Has it ever left? Oh, it, it was gone for a while during the season. Yeah, it was gone. I got a ton of tomatoes. I'm, I'm still, I got a, I got ketchup back here in bottles for what I caught. Every, every, every 30 piece. No, you wanted to trade them. Let's take that back. Apologize to Julius. And what I say, I'm not apologizing for anything. Mm. Because wait until money time. Is that what I said? Wait until money time. Not apologizing. And, you know, another playoff came. And he just wasn't that good. He just wasn't that good. I'm not going to kill him like that, you know, ankle thing, whatever. He just wasn't that good. I wasn't expecting. I was hoping more than I was expecting him to be good, if that makes sense. I was hoping he would he would surprise me. Okay? Yeah. Um, I, had, I had faith going to this playoffs. Yeah. Um, just because of what he did during the regular season. Uh, you saw the changes from his game. Like we said, like I went over, like there are times where you could start seeing it like, oh, okay, maybe that can come through. Yeah. Especially when you get Jalen Brunson in here to help, you know, you start, you saw a good shooting from Grimes quickly being six man of the year. You're like, okay, he's got help. He's got help. Maybe with all of that, you won't have, even though he'll attract the double team, are you gonna be able to leave quickly open? Well, quickly didn't shoot well. Uh, well, Grimes, can you leave him open? Yeah. Well, they still didn't want to leave him open, but he wasn't shooting well enough. To, to really be a threat, right? Yeah. The only guys that really showed up throughout most of the series was RJ and Brunson. But, you know, for as much as even myself, right, can, can talk about Randall, be like, you know, you got to trade him and all this type of stuff. This guy, we got to give him his credit for being here for four years and being that, that sometimes you just need to be an igniter for change, right? Yeah. And I got to give it to him for, he was here for four years, he was properly lambasted mm -hmm. for doing the spin move every single time his yeah. first year. Came an all-star, second team, all-NBA, second year. Fourth year, he gets back to it after having a down third year. Uh, so, and, and both of the times that he's been here, the team has made the playoffs because he's played well during the regular season to help put them in a position to get to the playoffs. So you got to give Randall credit for weathering the storm going through all the criticism, trying to stay focused, locked in, not only and bouncing back not once, but twice after two down years. So you got to get, I, I'll give him credit for that. You got to, yeah. no doubt about it. But when you ask for a guy, and this is the thing, he is on this team, the team has done it, you know, depending on who you talk to, they talk him about it like it. But when you're going to prop him up as this guy to be a go-to guy, I'm expecting him then to produce like a go-to guy. Mm -hmm. And if you're not going to produce like a go-to guy, then you're going to get criticized like you're a go-to guy. And so he's properly criticized because, you know, you could talk about the ankle injury and all these things. Look, man, Bam Adebayo was playing with a, with a, with a, everybody's hurt. Man. Jimmy Butler injured his ankle, still playing. Jalen Brunson. Brunson had like the five wrist. injuries. Between the wrist, the hip, the the foot, the ankle, he's getting round the clock treatment. He's dropping forty one points like it's no like there's no problem. Everyone's injured during this time of year. You got to figure out how to adjust your game. The great ones are able to do it. The guys who are going to be, the guys who command that level of attention, figure out how to adjust and yeah. know how to attack. So he good he gets the criticism fairly, because I'm expecting you if you're going to be third team All NBA. I'm expecting you to perform like you're one of the top 15 guys in the league. It's fair. It's fair. And if you're not going to do that and you're going to shrink, we got a problem. Because when you start talking about foundation, key pieces, all these, all these things when you look at how do you create a team. I know Brunson's a foundational piece. And that's honestly the only guy I know that's a foundational piece. The, te the team has created a good foundation. But when you're talking about a, a, a player that you're like, when you look at the Warriors, it's like, it's Steph, Clay, Draymond. Those are foundational pieces. When you look at the Bucks, it's it's Giannis, it's Drew Holiday, it's Middleton. Those are your foundational pieces. Everything else can change, and they still can compete. I can't say that. I And when I say compete, I mean in the playoffs, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. And forget what we've seen this year, whether the Bucks game knocked down in the first round. 
They got a championship. Warriors got a championship. I just don't see that. Where I can say Randall is that foundational piece. You have to produce in the playoffs. Got to you got to produce in the playoffs and you know, if both he and RJ even had 75% of the production that they gave you in game 5, we could have been talking about game 7 tonight. You know what I mean? Yeah. If they had a, a 75% of what they gave you in game 5 in game 6, could have been we could have been doing post game game 7 tonight. It doesn't mean they win. Right. Well, we could have been talking about a game like this. And, um, you know, he goes three, four. What do you go? Three for 14. Three for 14. That's just not going to get it done. And even though, even though I did not expect him to deliver money time, I was hoping that he would. I didn't expect him. What I told Dexter on SNY is the same thing that we talked about on post game on, on Friday night was that as much as fans are just you know, dump them, get rid of them, you know, cut them, all this other stuff. It's not easy. The, a, a Randall trade at this juncture is not easy because the bar has been raised. They're two, they were two games away from the Eastern Conference Finals. There's no turning back right now at all for this Leon Rose regime. I don't even know if they'll get a chance to do that. It's only forward. And whatever he did in the postseason is the postseason. But in the regular season, when you talk about these 47 wins, his name is right up there with Jalen Brunson, in my opinion, for why they got that. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. 25 points, 10 rebounds. That don't grow on trees, ladies and gentlemen. And for the people that say, oh, Obi's got it, Obi's got it. I don't I don't believe that for one second. And like, it's a, it just in my opinion, the, the Randall trade, is, it's just not an easy one to make. Uh, number one, I don't see what, what teams are going to be jumping over hoops to go get him. And how do you how do you replace that production? <clears throat> I don't know. Look. There's always somebody out there that want that want there's always a buyer. There's always a buyer. The question is that what you're asking, are you going to get the fair compensation? Are you going to get someone that's going to replace him? All these things. So we'll, there's going to be a team that says I need a third guy. Okay, because uh -huh. I think we can war we've warned that Randall. Uh, we know we're these were conversations we had two seasons ago, by the way. Uh -huh. Remember, it's like we saw the playoffs, we're like Randall's not a one, maybe a two, but more likely a three. We were saying this two years ago for people who were saying the same, the same thing where the same season where we were like, yo, we got some, we got somebody on a good deal. This is great. We got somebody. People forget that. People like to think, think that we uh, just attacked this guy, but we were also giving him his flowers too on this up and up. Or on his turnout, I should say. But yeah. he's a third option, man. He's a third option. Someone needs a third option. There's going to be a team out there that needs a third option. The question is, do you do it during a midseason acquisition? Or do you do it, do it this offseason and you want to go all in now? That's the thing. 